I almost hate you. People staring at their phones, walking around in public. I almost do. I, I know it's a sin. I live in London, and this, 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 I'm, my hate for you doing this gets me up in the morning. deserve this all of you it's not it's not that I hope that you get hit by a bus I mean these are funny they're funny to watch I guess but it's not funny if it's not a wall that you're running into but Michael J Fox you're walking around like that what if it's somebody who can't get out of the way fast enough you're running into them and I'm, I'm sure it happens all the time I know it happens all the time. It happened to me. We'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. We'll get to this later. Look at this. Oh, I can't even snap in that hand. Look at this. If you're walking down a sidewalk, somebody's walking on the other side of the sidewalk, nothing has to be said. You're perif- you, can, you can pick it all up by gauging the other person's body language. And we both move. We both pick a side. But it doesn't work in society if somebody's staring down. They don't know. They don't know you're coming until you're three feet within their two feet, and it's too late. They're oblivious. Not when you walk by me. I shoulder check. Hmm. I shoulder check. I know you think you're competent walking around and texting because you haven't run into anybody, but you only haven't run into anybody because most people are not doing it. Because most people are still looking around. We're getting out of your way. But if all of us were to be doing it, we would all run it. We'd all be walking into traffic. We'd be like those Popeye cartoons where they're sleepwalking. not get away with walking around staring at your phone if the baby boomers around they'd slap that shit out of your hand they only took out my appendix not my mouth nor my fist it's up to us x-gen to start shaming the next generation into good behavior cell phones reduce users social consciousness and are linked to more selfish behavior the study found that cell phone use and public service are linked the more the cell phone use the less likely to donate time to charity Fuck you, Sally Struthers. Those that do live beyond that ripe old age for this part of the world will grow up in dung heaps like this. Happy birthday. I'm going to watch dominoes being knocked over on YouTube. Express of Equadilla. So much more satisfying than giving to the hungry. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Be present. Somebody just stopping so they can stare at their phone. Oh, nobody else in the world matters. The ones who stop in the middle of a crowd is like a turd that won't flush. Wipe your shit, your fucking ah, shit up everybody's phone. Everywhere you look, people are hooked on the things. It's like like chain smoking. For some Zoomers, this is going to seem old fashioned. But when you go out in public, you don't have the right to act in any way you want to. I wonder if you've ever heard this word. Civility. It's a nice word. It comes from the Latin, meaning relating to public life, befitting a citizen. Be a good citizen. I know this seems contrary to what you see in public life. People being naked in parades, pride parades, of the trans debate, of bro country concerts. 
and all these evils. Put your phone in your pocket. Breathe. I'm worried about you, Zoomers. It's not that your feelings don't matter, but your identity has become like a feral cat. You keep scratching and hissing and lashing out at everything that comes at you because everything seems like a threat. It's a horrible way to live. I'm sorry this has happened to you, but get off your phones. Go home if you can't function in society. Go home if you cannot participate in politeness. But I'd rather you come outside. I'd rather you come outside and join us and smile at strangers and daydream and notice how wonderful the algorithm of actuality is. It's interesting what that algorithm can present to you. It might give you a little toddler doing a little dance and singing to themselves, and then you'll smile at that. And then it might give you a little squirrel running around with a, a french fry. And then you might smile at that. And then it might give you a flirty little wink with the good looking Coors Light delivery guy. <laughs> or a Bud Light if you prefer. All the little wonderful things of connecting to humanity are lost when you're staring at your phone. Maybe that's why this generation is so highly medicated for depression. Also, wearing noise-canceling headphones makes you 30% stupider. That's not a verified fact. That's just my truth. That's sad. But thank God there wasn't an old person down there or a presidential candidate. We'd end up with a broken POTUS pelvis. Don't do that. Don't stare at your phone and put earbuds in. It's dangerous. You're, you're blind, walking around blind and deaf. People don't even look up anymore. The sky could turn fucking purple and you cunts wouldn't notice for a month. Wait. You've seen us. You've seen. Do you know what happens when X-Gen, when we get a text we want to respond to? We pull over to the side and then we stab at our phone like this. So I jog in the morning. As part of my recovery, I've been jogging. And I love it. Not because I like the jogging, but because I like bumping into people who are on their phones. Uh, uh-huh. It really makes the jogging fun. And I've been jogging even farther and farther. I thought maybe I could only do two miles. I can do like seven miles if there's a lot of people on their phones because it gives me an endorphin rush. Oh, man. Because here's how it used to work. If you're a jogger, you know this. You're jogging. And I'm not one of those people who try to jog in busy areas. Those people are just obnoxious. Why are you jogging on the London Bridge and then acting annoyed that there are other people walking here? It's everybody from the world is coming to look at the London Bridge. Don't jog here. I don't jog on the London Bridge. I do jog around London on the little side streets. You jog, and then you notice somebody far away, and you can tell by their body language again um, which side to move to. Because most people will adjust a little bit. Even if there's a large group, they'll all kind of adjust, and they'll be like, oh, somebody's coming by. Or you can, as a jogger, you'll jump off to one side or the other to try to get around them. You'll squeeze next to the wall, or you'll jump into the street if nothing's coming to get around them. Not with these people... They don't walk very fast, and they never know you're coming. I get right at them, and I go like this. You should see them jump. You should see them jump. Oh, man. Or I just shoulder check them. Pa, pa, pa. The thrill of moderate violence while having the moral high ground. I mean, I wish I would have discovered this sooner. It's great. Like these guys. And say, yeah, be really lovely and queer and gay. No, if you see a turf, punch him in the f***ing face. Like in Portland, Oregon, where Antifa have been involved in at least 10 protests ending in violence, according to police. And it's wearing on the community. I know, I get it. I get it. 
There's an endorphin rush for calling for violence. There is something about it that makes you feel powerful. Especially if you feel like you're in the right and there's some people around you encouraging you that you're in the right. Oh my God, it's addicting. I get it. So I've recognized this in myself and what I've tried to do, I tried to switch this up and to just start sending little blessings to people as I'm jogging by. I'll see people on the phone and I'm like, I hope you have a great day. God bless you. I hope that's a great text. I hope everything works out. That's what I've been trying to do. And it's not near as fun. Four months ago, I'm riding my bicycle on my way to an acting workshop, Tottenham Court Road, in the bike lane. And there's always a lot of people there. There's always a lot of tourists and people coming home from work. So you're always scanning. You're always watching. And I got my little ding, 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 ding. And I'm going along. And right at the last second, I see this guy. Boom, it came out. I mean, he came out right on top of me. Noise canceling earphones, head down like this. I caught him with his head down. Didn't even know it till after he knocked me down. Of course, he doesn't get knocked down. My thumb, bit my thumb all the way back. Popped the UCL. This happened. I have a deformed thumb now. <laughs> I have a deformed thumb. So get off your phone or Gen X. You got to start the shoulder check. You didn't look up. Look where I caught you. This, while walking in a crowded street, is narcissistic. Happy birthday. This is still a new YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Like, I need a thousand subscribers. Who are you working with? Nobody. Thanks, guys. Bye.